Here at Tom's DIY Investing, we help people improve their financial knowledge. Our content ranges from financial news to personal finance tips and investing guides for real estate and stock market. We want to help you get past financial struggles so that you get closer to your goals. It can be challenging to understand the world of finance without adequate assistance and support. We can help you go through various financial challenges and find the best solutions. This is all free knowledge about money. Plus, we keep you up to date with the latest industry news. Tom's DIY Investing is the ideal place for anyone interested in investing, improving their financial knowledge and navigating any potential financial hurdle. We post new insightful videos very often. So today, I am going to tell you about something about stock market. If you are living in Pakistan, then it can be very helpful for you or if you are interested to invest in Pakistan and living in any foreign country like US or any other country like UAE or uh, Europe so getting started with the stock market so if you are interested in any specific company then you can visit that specific company if it is listed on Pakistan Stock Exchange. There is only one website, one portal that is officially launched by Pakistan government is Pakistan Stock Exchange like L London Stock Exchange. So moving on to Pakistan Stock Exchange, uh, today I am going to uh, discuss about a company named Atahul Limited. It is a dairy company and uh, it is situated in Pakistan, it's, its head office in Lahore and it has a uh, uh, plant and farm in Kasul. So it has a uh, distribution around uh, almost all over Pakistan including Karachi, Islamabad, KPK, Punjab. It has covered almost every market in Pakistan. It deals in fresh milk uh, unlike Nestle and other related uh, companies they are and they are dealing in UHT mill but uh, grandma is dealing in uh, pasteurized fresh milk so when we come to PSX website we come to know about something about share price what is the share price of the company we get the chart of around uh, one year five year three year uh, year to date six point one month one day so when we are talking about the company we can check its price for example uh, if we talk about today price the market started with 18.59 PKR per share uh, so moving on the market closed at around 19.62 it is an increase of around rupee 1 so uh, if you see there is other information related to the company but before that I would like to draw your attention towards the, the financial data of the company when you are uh, when you want to invest in any company first of all you have to get knowledge about that specific company industry and uh, then uh, you have to get knowledge about that specific company financials so first we will get knowledge about the financial my four videos including this one will cover the financial statement of that specific company so moving on to uh, the specific financial statement we can download the financial from the Pakistan Stock Exchange website I'm downloading the annual financial statement of 2021 that was posted on 6 October 2021. So, so you have to know that uh, there are two types of financial years. Uh, you can say that uh, one is annual and uh, the other is tax year. So normally companies have same tax year and financial year calendar year is normally different calendar year is from 1st jan 2021 to 31st 
31st December 2021 but if you are talking about financial year or tax year the financial year and tax year will start from 1st July 2020 and it will end on 30th June 2022 so we have just downloaded financial statement related to 2021 it means it will cover the financial data related to 1st July 2020 to 30th June 2021 so now i have downloaded that specific file you can see that it is the annual financial statement of the company named atoh limited for the financial year 2021 first of all it will give you an introduction about the company its board of directors it will contain directors report key operating and financial data pattern of shareholding and other related uh, ccg matters that is for the corporate governance matters uh, but the main thing we will discuss is first of all uh, is related to the financial aspects of the company it will start from uh, section 42 that is statement of financial position so uh, we will start with statement of financial position and uh, it will end uh, on 48 and uh, it is called north to the financial statement so uh, we are going to cover around six topics in our videos so first of all it is statement of financial position second one is statement of profit and loss uh, third one is statement of company and cp income and uh, the other one is statement of changes in equity the last one is statement of cash flow uh, another uh, thing that we will cover is notes to the financial statement all these statements that i have named before uh, have their relevant notes and these are stated separately at the end of these statements and these are called notes to the financial statement other than that there is other information related to the company related to uh, company shareholders but it we will cover it at any other time but for the time being i will start from the statement of financial position so i will directly go to statement of financial position so if you are new to financial statement if you don't know anything about the financials and you want to invest in a company you have money but you don't know how to evaluate a company so that you know whether to invest in that specific company or not then you should see this video and learn about how you can read the financial statements of a specific company so that when you are going to evaluate different companies different options that are available to you to invest in first of all you go to their financial statement you will study these financial statement and then you will decide whether to invest whether it is feasible for you to invest in that specific company or not because uh your money is very important for you and i know that so moving on to the first page of statement of financial position as the name states financial position so it is the financial position it is a statement that contains the financial position of that specific company so what when i say of the financial position it covers uh, three major things the company's asset the company's liabilities and company's equity so what are these if you are new to accounts uh, then i think i need to explain these three terms to you uh, assets are something that will benefit you in the future like you have your money and you invest in a building so that it will uh, app in by appreciation the value of building over the period of time you will earn some money so uh building is an asset so moving on to your car so 
when you buy a car so it is considered as an asset because it will provide you a benefit over a period of time whether you can sell it in the future and get benefit from appreciation the value or you can use it over a period of time so that uh, you can uh, avoid public transportation so in any way uh, an expense and which will benefit benefit you over the period of time is recognized as an asset so there is there are some standards in accounting uh, that tells you how to recognize an expense as an asset when to recognize an an expense as an asset remember that normally in accounting expense is different from asset expense is recognized in the same year and is not carry forward but on the other end asset is recognized in the financial statement and is carried forward to next year now moving on to next term liability liability is the obligation obligation of the company to pay someone that is there are financer that from where from which the company will borrow during its life span and um, the those financer will expect something in return as a markup so the company will incur some finance cost against their liability and there will be some creditors uh, from uh, with, with 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 whom you will be doing some business so these are all types of liability these are actually the obligation that company have to pay in the future so the next term is equity so equity is the total investment of the shareholder it can be in the form of money or it can be in the form of retained profits for example you have started a company with around 1 lakh investment it has generated a profit of 10000 rupees in a year and uh, these 10000 are related to you you can withdraw 10000 and can still have your investment in the business that is one uh, 10000 rupees so when you are talking about 10000 rupees that is your profit you say you will withdraw only 2000 rupees that is that will be your drawing from the business and will keep 8000 rupees in the business so that the business can reinvest those 8000 rupees and overall profit can be increased over the period of time so the three terms are clear i think it is equity liability and assets so when you talk about liability and assets we differentiate them we classify them into two separate classes one is non grant and the other is grant what is non grant non grant is a type of is a type in which whether the obligation that is liability or the asset will be related to or have a life of more than one year if you say you buy a car and you will use it till it is disposed of and you are uh, you are using it uh, for it for its entire life that is more than 20 or 30 years even so this is a non grant asset on the other hand a business that have some type of inventory or some type of uh, type of debtors that is from uh, customers from which the balance is receivable against sale these are current uh, because you will get some money from them in a short period of time within a year normally so if we talk about asset you will uh, receive benefit or you will in cash them uh, in more than one year Uh, is non grant asset and uh, when you talk about uh, grant asset they are normally recognized only in one year and are uh, disposed of or 
in cash in one year on the other hand liability is of same nature you can in cash them in one uh, one year they are current otherwise they are non current so thank you so much for this video in the next video we will talk about profit and loss statement take care